So we can now use a ferrite core and we don't have to use the met glass core. That's really good news because I'll give a source on laserhacker.com but we can get these uh, ferrites for a couple dollars and make these up. Uh, the other good news, I've gone to using uh, doorbell uh, wire. Uh, so that's a whole lot cheaper. A roll is four dollars. You can make one of these with a roll of this. It's 20 gauge. So, okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm winding uh, two of these wires. You can see one's green and one's blue. And they're going to form my first uh, layer. Okay, so there you go. You can see uh, one layer, folks. And, uh, of course, if you want to connect this in a, as a uh, jewel thief style uh, winding, you would just take the uh, blue wire and connect it to the green and connect your positive lead right to there. We're not doing it that way in this particular jewel ringer, but that would be the way. And you could connect this up like this, and this will run as efficient as the uh, super jewel ringer. But with this and some cheap ferrite, I've been able to beat the brightness uh, of that one with uh, less current draw. So don't be intimidated thinking you need that particular matte glass toroid. It's not the case. You can use one of these. So. Uh, same wire, same gauge. Uh, maybe I'll choose a different color because I got a lot of this wire laying around. But I'm just going to come on here and just fill this up to the uh, top of the bobbin until I can't until I hit this edge radius here. So depending on, on the bobbin or whether you make your own bobbin, you'll we'll just fill this up with uh, with that wire. Uh, same direction on the turns. Everything's pretty much the same. So I'll do that. Okay. So winding on the uh, beginnings of the secondary coil. So you can see you just wind this on here. This again is incredibly easy uh, jewel ringer to make compared to the other designs that I've experimented with. So yeah, you just, uh, this is the first layer, so when you get over here to the edge you want to fill it up right to the edge and then just start over with uh, keep winding and just come right back across the other side. Let's see if, uh, if I can do this while holding the camera, but yep, there we go, so just back across the other side. So I'm going to finish this up, folks. Okay, so I finished it up. You can see I got in a bit of a rush. It's it's kind of messy, but we'll uh, hook it up and see how it works. Okay, so I've hooked it up to the bulb here. Uh, we got it connected here with the transistor. And uh, let me set it over here. Let's power it up.